Okay, problem number five, or number nine, sorry, is a fun little guess and check here. So we're given um, basic information that says AB is 12, we know BC is 15, and CD is 25. I want to know what is the length here of AD. All right, so I said it's guess and check, so I'm just going to start with two numbers that add up to be 12. So I'm just going to go 2 and 10. All right, so that means if this is 10, then this section here has to be 10, so that has to be 10. If all of BC is 15, that portion is 10, this has to be 5. So that means this tangent segment has to be 5. This whole side is 25. I've already used up 5. This has to be 20. Again, my tangent segments. Do that at the top and the bottom here. So that whole side there is 22. Okay, now to kind of prove this to you, I'm going to leave this here, this 22 here. I'm going to pick a different combination. Okay, so I'm going to go through and delete what I had. All right, so this time I'm going to pick... I'll do 6 and 6. All right, so then my tangent segments I've followed around. The whole side is 15. The other part has to be 9. This has to be 9. So then this section would be 16. So for AD, I have 6 and 16, which is 22. The only time you're going to get in trouble is typically when you start with the largest side. So I'll do an example where you get yourself in trouble. All right, so let's pretend I'll start at the 25. What if I broke it up into 5 and 25 like this? The issue is I know my tangent segments have to be congruent, but this whole side is only 15, so this section can't be 20. Okay, so that's when you know, okay, I need to make a different combination guess. Typically, if you start with the smallest side, though, you won't run into that problem.